What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk a little bit more about Battlefield 6. We've got a few more leaks over the last few days. Now always keep in mind these are leaks so you can kind of take them with a grain of salt. This could be legitimate. It could not. Most of the leaks so far have seemed to be pretty legit. Uh, of course we have not got an official trailer or anything from EA yet uh, for Battlefield 6. That should be coming out next month is pretty much what everybody's assuming. Kind of what EA has teased as well. We do know this is one of the biggest uh, teams ever to develop a Battlefield game. And it seems like they're going kind of futuristic with it. I'm going to link an article down in the description where you can see some of these images. Now keep in mind, these may be taken down by the time you watch this video and read uh, the article itself. Of course, there's one reason I don't post them in the video because of copyright reasons. Of course, EA, you know, a lot of times, a lot of these companies will take down, you know, videos or articles or anything that shows off anything that they don't want out just yet. Also, some of these companies also like to hype their games up. So they leave some of this information out there. And sometimes I think a lot of these companies let misinformation kind of hang around just to kind of keep people off the trail of what actually is going on with the game to keep them interested in something else besides maybe the real thing. Who knows? But it kind of fits the theme of the last video I made. The last video I talked about how there were some images that leaked that had drones in them. Well, the images that have leaked now do, so, do show some soldiers with RPGs, things like that. Normal things you would think uh, to kind of be related to Battlefield, uh, to a Battlefield game. But it also shows some images of some robotic looking dogs, which, like I said, kind of fits the theme of the drones as well. So it seems like the game's going to be set somewhat in the future. I'm not sure if it's going to be way in the future. I don't think it's going to be, even though the Dice LA is working on the game, I don't think it's going to be like Titanfall futuristic. But I am kind of curious to see exactly how they handle the futuristic idea. You look at some, well, there is one particular past Battlefield game that was futuristic that was not very popular. That was out years and years ago. Uh, also, you look at things, uh, Call of Duty over the years, when it's gone more futuristic. Some people liked it, some people didn't. Like I said, I think it's going to just depend on how they handle it. If it's too much in the future and the, and the character models, the, you know, the soldiers kind of idea is very futuristic, I'm not sure if people are going to love that or not. It's going to be kind of interesting to see how the community uh, reacts to this. A lot of people are tired, of course, of the World War scene uh, after Battlefield 1, uh, Battlefield 5. So something futuristic may be more intriguing to a lot of the uh, player base, a lot of the community. I'm just kind of curious to see exactly how they're doing this. I'm not quite sure what the purpose of this robotic dog is going to be or the drones. Uh, of course, this stuff could be, be things that are in the files, things that never make it into the game. That always happens, it seems, a lot of times with leaks as well. You'll start hearing and seeing things that you know may just be within the files of the game, maybe a leak from somebody that think uh, something they think is going to get put into the game and it does not. And a lot of these companies have people that work closely around uh, the team, so some things just kind of you know leak out and get out into uh, you know kind of on the internet and get out into the you know community. People talking about the game, some of it never really comes to light. But overall, it looks like uh, I think it's safe to say that it's going to be somewhat in the future. We all kind of knew that was going to happen, I think. Uh, but the thing that is really interesting is, like I said, robotic dogs, drones. Um, it makes me curious to see how futuristic the soldier models are going to be, the tanks, the planes, the helicopters. Uh, there's also been a lot of talks of, you know, different things going on with the next gen and old gen, uh, how the game could be uh, held back because of old gen. And we all know, always know that's the case when any game comes out. Uh, if old gen consoles are still out and a new gen console has come out, sometimes it holds it back. We had that issue with Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 was on old gen and new gen. And to me, that's kind of why the start of the game was not really as good as it ended up being. A lot of people enjoyed the game a lot, but a lot of people didn't come into the game until a later time. As you all remember, if you played Battlefield 4 from the start, it was pretty rough to begin with. So we're going to kind of have to wait and see what exactly happens with the old gen and new gen idea. I'm sure there's going to be some big differences. Of course, when we get some more information about that, I'll make a video about that, you know, something separate. But, of course, we should be getting a uh, some type of trailer next month. EA has pretty much said there's going to be something coming out, you know, fairly soon. Um, most people are considering probably the month of June. I'm not sure if they're going to do something at E3 or, you know, whatever the case may be, if they're going to do something on their own. Uh, you know, they do a lot of things at E3 with EA, uh, even though that it's going to be online again this year. It's still, I, I would not be surprised if they show off Battlefield, one of the bigger things they show off, because it's pretty anticipated, I think. A lot of people are looking forward to a new Battlefield game. A lot of people are kind of skeptical, like I am, curious to see what is it going to be. Is it going to be, you know, what we all want, a, a Battlefield game that we've been looking for for years now. Uh, for me personally, I want a Battlefield game like the games of Battlefield 3 and before. Some people want a game like Battlefield 4. 
but most of us, I think, can agree that Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 was probably not the community's most favorite, <laughs> most popular games. So I'm really, really curious to see how futuristic this is going to go and kind of see how they're going to use these things, if it is that futuristic, how they're going to use things like drones and robotic dogs and whatever, whatever else might uh, show up in a trailer later on, how these things are going to be implemented into the game and exactly how they're going to be used and whatnot. Anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you had subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.